All right, if you've updated to the most recent version of Firefox recently, you might have realized that there's this little paper airplane icon there and not known what it was. Well, that is uh, Firefox Share, and the little icon that comes up, it says Share This Page. So any page you're on, you can just share to a variety of places um, without any app uh, add-ons that will slow down your, your device. Um, so that's a very cool little aspect to have, and it's very easy to set up. So basically, you just click on it, and then you would go to take me there to the directory of things you'd like to set up. Um, it would take you to activations.mozilla.net, uh, and then if you go to English, the U.S. settings, it has all the most popular uh, U.S. things as far as well as some uh, foreign things. So in the top thing here, you'll have Facebook, you'll have um, Twitter and, and LinkedIn, and you know for the U.S. audience, that's probably the most popular things to share too. But if you scroll down, you'll see all these other kind of um, foreign things uh, down there. There's Weibo, which is like the Chinese Twitter, um, or so it's it's for an international audience. But you would just activate the ones that you want to have activated. Now it's very easy to do. So here's Twitter. So I would just hit the share button, and that will allow me to activate now and enable devices. And there we are. It is now activated on uh, Twitter. Now I'm actually already logged in to Twitter uh, in this Firefox window, so it already has that information. So I'm ready to go. So now, if I went to say, oh, let's go to PCMag.com, and I wanted to share a great article: Ten Cool Gadgets You Can't Buy in America. How great! Okay, so we're going to share that. So we just hit the little. Let me give it a second. No. Uh, I don't know what that was. All right, so I'm going to hit the share button. There we go. And then if I wanted to share on Twitter, hit that. Well, there, it's going for the home page. Um, okay, so well, it didn't load the, the, the new page, but so it's just going to share the home page. But you get the idea. Is that I could share, if it actually went through, I could share any page uh, that I was able to do from there. I could also do it with Facebook or LinkedIn, who I'd previously set up already. So that's all very cool. Um, now, if you want to manage this later, you can always turn these off, of course. So you go on your three little lines there, and then you would go down to add-ons. Even though these aren't add-ons, but that's where they put them in the menu. Uh, and if you go down to services on the left-hand side, and then here you'll see all the different services, which you can disable or remove altogether, and then um, poof, they'll be gone. So if I wanted to say get rid of Twitter, let's get rid of LinkedIn because I don't really use it. Um, so I'm just going to hit remove. Give it a second. Boom, it has been removed. So now, if I were to say go to this page, I wanted to remove the pcmag.com page because I didn't want to load right then. Hit that. Notice that it is no longer there because I got rid of it. So that is a fun little tool to start taking advantage of. Enjoy.